Hey, this is YBR with Forza 7, the demo, because I'm kind of excited for the real game, and the demo came out, and I was going to play it, and I figured, why not record it as well? So we're going to go ahead and press A to start, even though it said press enter. I'm assuming it just hasn't realized I'm using a controller yet, because I haven't touched any buttons. And it is a little bit laggy right here. Well, actually, it's really laggy. You can see it's just jumping right there. Hopefully, it's just because it was loading everything up, because, yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. So we got three choices right here. We're probably just going to do them in order. So the first one says... Battle the intense heat of Dubai in an exclusive first drive in the Porsche 911 GT2 RS, which is going to be the iconic car for this game. It's the car on the cover, and they also did a reveal where they revealed the car and Forza 7 at the same time, which is kind of interesting. Last time, it was the Ford GT. I think I like the looks of the Ford GT a little bit better because it's such a unique look, but Porsche 911s do have a classic look. Not like I could afford either of them. So we get to choose what our person looks like now. This is neat. All these choices. Oh, of course I'm going to use the motorcycle cop. That looks perfect. And uh, let's see. Assist. I don't want no assist. What is the highest difficulty it goes? Not custom. Veteran. Yes. And uh, driver gear. That's what we just did. Driver tower difficulty. What is it at right now? It's been a long time since I played Forza, so we'll just leave it at what it is. And then do I get a choice of the track? Uh, I guess not. I mean, it did say race in Dubai in the description. It didn't say, hey, go race wherever you want in your new 911 GT2 RS. It's Dubai and you better like it. So this is the Dubai Full Circuit, which is a fictional track. Well, I'm 99.99% .99 certain that there is not a racetrack in Dubai that looks like this one. I know there are racetracks in Dubai because they did Formula One in Dubai a while ago. So anyways, let's get started with the race. And hey, there's the Ford GT right in front of us. The old versus the new iconic car. That's kind of, oh, okay. So I've already managed to crash. I was gonna try to drive without crashing much, but apparently this guy in the, uh, Ford GT decided to go really, really slowly, and now everybody's passing me on the left side. So let's pass him on the left side as well and uh, just get away from his slowness. Now I gotta drive really careful through here because I don't know the track at all. I just kind of gotta follow the traffic and use the braking line, which is actually there on Veteran, which is surprising. I figured Veteran, oh, you get no racing line. You gotta know the tracks. Maybe it's because the demo they have it on. I don't know. But either way, I am thankful for this because I have no idea what kind of corners are coming up. And if I look at the mini map, I can't see nothing. I just see a blob of cars going through the corners, and whoa. I was way out of my racing line right there. I was in too deep into the corner, and I almost just dashed that dude in the Ferrari right there. Thankfully, I was able to slow down just enough not to hit him. I'm trying to get by him, but I don't see an opportunity through here. It's just a little bit too tight. I saw a little bit of the mini-map before it got blobbed over, and it looks like we just got a bunch of tight corners here. I could try to go around him, but it's just not going to happen, it looks like. Yeah, I could go faster than him. But I also go directly into him, like right here, maybe a little bit, and no, got to slow down just a bit. Oh, I probably could have gone faster through that. See, not knowing the track does put you at a disadvantage a bit. Although that was apparently a perfect turn, according to the game. So that's on the top left corner before it disappeared right there. All right, there we go. There's a nice, easy overtake, as long as I don't hit the rear end of the Corvette. You know, it's kind of funny seeing a Corvette in here. Like, yes, it is a really high-performance car, and I have no doubt it could be just as fast as some of the competition. But the price bracket, man. Like, you look at a 911 GT2, whoops, RS. Um, the price on one of those is like three times as much as the Corvette. There is a huge difference. And same with the Lamborghini right there. That thing is going to be way more expensive than a Corvette. Although I see a Dodge Viper, probably ACR, I can't quite tell from here. That's going to be in a close price bracket to a Z06. That's a little bit more. But I do believe it has more performance than a Z06. Although it's less daily drivable. You know, I'm saying this all just from reviews, though. I've never driven any of these cars. <laughs> I can afford a car with, uh, you know, under 10000 That's the YBR price range. I would just never be able to afford a car like this. Whoa! Where'd the road just go? I thought there was going to be road right there. And it's just like, nope. There's just a little fake road there that you're driving through the dirt now. That was great. And I do feel like there's a little bit of difference in the way the road drove right there when it was all, like, dusty looking. I mean, it would make sense. All right, going in way crazy in this corner oh don't hit that wall yes that was clean but they passed me back up with their bmw i ate what'd you eat i don't know i ate you for dinner because you're so slow that's what you ate so that's what i ate i don't know what you ate i don't know where i'm going with that at all all right now we got aston martin oh this guy looks like he's barely moving look at this right by him you know that almost looks like a mustang from the rear like you look at the new mustang and you look at that they have a very similar rear end i've never noticed that before and we're already in second place, and we drove pretty cleanly. Like, I had very minimal contact. There were a few things that were avoidable, but I was just driving sloppy on a new course. And again, I haven't played fours in a long time, so I gotta get used to the way the handling physics work. So 
So next up, we gotta pass up this NSX, and we're actually gonna be able to do this real easy, just on the straightaway, super easy. So if I'm playing this game and I wanna pass cleanly, the way to probably set up the car is really fast in the straights, and who needs cornering? So that way you just come out of the corners faster than them, you can get easy passes on the straights because they go slow through, so slow through the corners on this difficulty level. Although probably when I'm actually playing the game, I'll up it a little bit once I get used to it. But right here, I'm good with just average because it gives me the opportunity to actually drive cleanly and not have to worry about, oh, I gotta pass this dude and smash into them. Like, I like driving like that a lot more. Some people, you know, they're bashing everybody every corner, and that's what's fun for them. I like driving like this where it's realistic-ish, you know? Yeah, I bump the wall here and there because I push it too hard, but I try not to. It's just I'm not that good of a driver. You know, mistakes do happen. So now we got basically a whole lap for freedom. You know, just do whatever I want. I could try to put extra ground between us, or I could just enjoy the confetti that's being sprayed onto the track. Isn't that a safety hazard? Like, you pop confetti onto the track, the dude behind is going to be coming up, and he's going to be sliding all over the place on this confetti. These race people do not think this through, man. Whose dumb idea was this? All right, ooh, how is in that wall again? That wall comes up on you like you don't expect it to be there, and then it is. And there's a helicopter over there. Goodbye, helicopter. I'm busy racing. All right, I got such a huge lead. Let's try to drift a little bit right here, even though I suck at drifting. Come on, drift. <laughs> I just hit the wall. Drift. There we go. That's a little better. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing. I'm going to drift. Smack into a wall. My BR doesn't know how to drift, so I try to get. Like, I'm not doing, like, super crazy drifts. I want to make sure they're controllable like that. That was nice and easy to control. I lost probably a lot of speed, but it was fun. It said good drift. There you go. That was a good drift. The game said so. All right, can I drift it all through here a little bit? Oh, nope. I forgot there's no road right here. Taking the road out from under my wheels. Little tiny slide right there. And apparently that is a perfect churn. I couldn't have done better even though I was just kind of screwing around and sliding all over the place. Okay. This would probably be a good place to try to drift if I trusted myself to see everything in here. Like, I, if I'm focused on drifting, I don't think I could focus enough on the darkness to see the wall and I would slam right into it. Like, I'll try to do it right here. Let's see. Get a little bit of a slide. It is not even that dark. Oh, that's way too much slide. I'm going to crash. I'm going to crash. I'm going to crash. I'm going to crash. Yep. Called it. Called it. Double crash. That doesn't matter, though. I got such a huge lead. So, yeah, when I play the real game, we'll probably up the difficulty one or two ticks. Like, I like having it relaxing. I don't like it being, oh, I got to do every corner perfectly, and I feel like I might need to slam into them to beat them. That was fun for me like that. There's another helicopter, and now we're on the bumper cam. I'm using the camera it just gave me with. I never even changed it. Even though at the very start of the race, I was like, hey, you can hit this button to change your camera. I'm like, yeah, I don't care because that camera angle is probably the most preferred by viewers, it seems like. And it's the easiest to get through traffic. Like when you can see the rear end of your car, you know about where you're going to fit through things. And so now it's trying to make me buy the game. Hold on, I haven't finished the demo yet. We got to race this big old truck. <laughs> I love racing like this. I used to have the old super truck racing game for the PlayStation 2. It's fun to see that Forza has this as well. I think they had it last game, but not initially. It was like an update. Oh, these people are different. Okay, well, what's this one? Pit crew, that's not as fun as before. Fleet, eh, pink's all right. Although I kind of like the ones where they wear a bandana like that because I wear bandanas. I can relate to that. So going back to the right, nah, nah. Uh, well, you know what? I kind of like the vintage racing because he has those goggles. <laughs> those goggles look pretty neat. Like it looks totally out of place racing a big rig, but I kind of like it. So this time we're actually going to a real race track, so I don't have the same excuse I had before of not knowing the track. My new excuse is my car is too big. It's not even the size of a car, it's a truck. Trucks are too big. Yep, I was going to have some excuse just in case I mess up. Oh, this time it put me on the interior camera by default, so we'll use that. No, oh. <laughs> I'm going to hit this dude. Oh, he, he is not accelerating fast. Everybody's passing me on the right. Come on, man. What you doing? Oh, come on. Look, they just keep passing me. All right, enough of this. I'm going to pass you, too. You keep this up. All right, we're going on the right side. Well, uh, I don't know where to go on this corner. It's like double wide everywhere. We're making triple wide. Try to go on the outside and overtake some fools. Oh, oh don't want to do that. Going to get pushed off the road if I try to go there. All right, we'll go on the inside right here instead then. Well, now it's the outside again because of the corner. Okay, I thought I knew this course. Now I don't actually know it that well. And, oh, this guy kind of like pushing me in the dirt. He ain't leaving enough room. I don't know, maybe I'm overestimating how wide this thing is, but it didn't feel like there was enough room for me there. And that's just disrespectful on them, trying to, like, block me out like that, even though I was pretty much in front of them already. Uh, at least I felt like I was in front of them, maybe I wasn't. Yeah, I'm driving super aggressive with this thing, I'm just, like, flying from corner to corner like a maniac right here. Oh my goodness, let me on the road! 
He's just hitting me. He's like, he's just trying to pit maneuver me right there. Again, where am I supposed to go? I'm like half off the road right there. And it was a straightaway. There was no reason for you to try to block me off that hard. You are clearly overtaken. Respect my overtakes. Maybe I should try to like stick to overtaking on the straightaway so they can't do that. Like right here. Ooh, okay, this one's bad. This is on me. See? I know when I'm completely out of line. That one, no. I would have just got crashed into them. Like right here though. This is a clean overtake. Perfect pass. See that? Perfect pass. The PP. Like I'm playing Pokemon. How many PPs I got left? I got 10 PP and then I'm in first place. No way, I got 9. I'm in 10. I'm not going to be in 0th place. I'm going to be in first place. Alright, here's a nice and easy pass probably. Unless they try to bump me up. Why are they hitting me? Come on, bro. What you doing? Like that was a super easy overtake for me. On the straightaway and they just kind of lease into me. I'm going to the left a little bit. Smack. Come on, bro. Get out the way. Look at this guy. He got respect until we go to this next corner. I'm going to try to keep it wide to hopefully not get hit by him. And then try to sneak in. Oh, that dude, see? He knows how to race. Or he knows how to get out of my way. <laughs> like, that's the real definition. If you're not getting out of my way, you're a bad racer. I'm so much faster than you guys. You're on too easy of a difficulty, grumble, grumble. Man, this feels a lot easier than the last race, though, because I feel like I could pass people at every corner as long as I don't crash into them. The other one actually felt like I couldn't really pass them on every corner. Like, right here, look at this. I didn't even have that great of an exit speed right there, but look at me just fly by these dudes. How high can this thing rev? We're like way past the uh, red line and it just keeps going. Like, oh, it's fine. You know, we're revved to 5,000 even though that's like double of what the RPM should be. <laughs> this thing's funny. How many gears does it have too? We're in eighth gear. Does it actually have the gearbox of a regular semi? Such an unusual vehicle, this thing. And I am going way wide right here. I'm not going to get the overtake there because that was an ugly entry, but I did at least overtake the dudes on the straightaway. Only got two cars left. I could be nice and relaxed to these, try to do them as clean as possible with no contact whatsoever, even from their reckless driving. So, like, if I go on the outside right here and really go on the outside because I'm afraid of them hitting me again. There we go. That was clean. I think I'm in front of them. Are they, like, on my right still? Nope, I see them in my mirror, I think. We're good. We're good. Now we got to get past number two to become number one. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, that's super easy. Just right on the straightaway and gone. Whoa, what is going on right there? Okay, uh, look at the, uh, well, everything is kind of just like freaking out right here. You got the pillars messed up on the vehicle. The uh, rear view thing is messed up, and I'm not even paying attention to the driving right here because I'm all focused on those things. The boost gauge is acting wonky. Well, this is interesting. I have no idea what's causing that. It's not stopping. Huh. I got x-ray vision. That's what it is. I accidentally turned on x-ray vision so I can see everything through the pillars. Yeah, that's, uh... I'm kinda, I kind of want to see if it ever stops now or if it's, like, a permanent type glitch. I mean, the game's not technically out. I assume this is something that would be fixed before the actual release. And if not, maybe it's just a small, infrequent occurrence type of thing that I just happen to run into. I'm the unlucky one. Anyway, I gotta stop focusing on these. I'm like kind of all over the place. Oh, hey! Now I can't focus on them anymore because I just stopped anyways. I was, oh, it's back, it's back! <laughs> that is weird. I wonder if it has something to do with the way I'm driving. Like if I pull on a corner too hard and go in the dirt, like it causes it. Like it's trying to say, oh, hey, you did a, a dirty corner by doing that. Although I would have think I would have noticed it before now because I was flying all over the place earlier as well. That's good again. How strange. Even though I was all distracted, though, I pulled out from the competition. I got like a, what that, a second lead? Oh, it happened again, so it has nothing to do with the way I'm driving. Now it's only a partial, and now it's a full. I don't know what's going on. That is weird. Maybe I damaged the pillar and it's glitching out? I don't really remember hitting anybody there, though. Huh. Ha! <laughs> Nobody's even finished yet. I'm just, like, cruising along. Like, yep, I'm the winner. Y'all are too slow. And we gotta look through this all. Best racing game of E3 2017, Gamescom, yeah, 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 yeah. It's such a good game and all that, I don't care. I wanna go race the racing GTR. I went there super fast, I knew what I wanted. We gotta choose a costume again. First, we gotta have that zoom in of the GTR, like look at this car, it looks fast. It's a race car, you can't afford this. What we got here, in real astronaut modern, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna choose that, but let's give all these other ones a fair chance. Uh. I do kind of like the vintage again, but come on. Astronauts. Who wouldn't want to do the astronaut skin? That's great. 
I always dreamed about being an astronaut. Then I realized it would be impossible for me to become an astronaut for one simple reason. The Earth is flat. Space isn't real. Because one day I was on the phone with Kyrie Irving and he told me the Earth is flat. And why would Kyrie Irving lie to me? So, I just have to assume he's telling the truth and the Earth is actually flat. I mean, he's been on lots of planes. He would know this. So anyways, on to racing my GTR. And this time we got the external camera, it looks like. Oh, nope, we got the internal camera. And this is like so little visibility. Ooh, I'm crash. <laughs> that was actually kind of hilarious. It looked like I brake so hard, I shot myself out through the windshield. Uh, this corner looks like it's just chaos over there on the right side. I'm sticking to the outside here. I actually heard a couple of people crashing through there, so I'm lucky I didn't get into the disaster zone. And I thought it was going to be rainy here when I saw the thumbnail, but I guess it's just really, really overcast. I thought the Nürburgring was in Germany, not Britain. This is some British kind of weather right here. And whoops, I accidentally went on the inside a little bit too much there. I, it's harder to pass them when they all have fast cars, I feel like. Like, cleanly. Because I'm so out of control half the time, I'm gonna slide into them accidentally, it feels like. Oh, I'm out of line right here. Okay, come on. Oh, really, dude? I was slightly ahead of you, and yes, I was out of line. But where was I supposed to go? You had to just let me in if you didn't want to crash. And he's like, I don't care. I'm gonna pass you time to crash. Oh, wait, wait a minute. When did it start raining? Like, that just happened, right? I'm not that oblivious to things. Yeah, okay, there's rain now, so it, it, it has dynamic weather. That's what this thing is trying to show off, I bet, by having the rain come in halfway through the race. Anyways, back to passing. This BMW, we can get on the outside right here. Maybe not, maybe not. No, 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 that, that's too thin. I'm scared of the rain. It's getting worse. It's getting wetter. I'm going to slide more. Let's stick to passing on the straights, because passing on the straight seems pretty safe. Like, right there, nice and easy pass. Whoa, uh, uh, uh. I was going to try to pass that guy on the outside, but there was simply no room. And see, this guy's on the inside of me. Unlike the dude in the Bentley, I give him room to drive. I don't just say, oh, this is my line now, crash. Although, to be fair, I don't know if the guy in the Bentley had much room either. I wasn't looking that closely at him. Also, there's a thing where somebody drove off the road and it looked like it said, like, caution or something just for a second, but then I passed him immediately, so it just disappeared. I'm not exactly sure what that was on about. I can't recall if that was in the older Forza either because it's been so long since I played it. You know what, though? Last time when I played Forza, right? I played Forza Horizon 3 and then I stopped for no reason. I played Forza Motorsport 6 and then I stopped for no reason. Now this time, I'm not going to do that. We're going to play through it. We're going to play through Forza 7. I promise you. I'm actually going to do it, though I'm going to completely forget it. I'm going to try not to completely forget about playing it like I did for the other ones. Maybe I'll, you know, I'll bring back Forza Horizon 3 again. Even though, I've, you know, that'd be the second time I've done it. Actually, I still remember what I did last time so I could bring it back without completely restarting like last time. Oh, no. I'm so distracted by all this, you know, what game will I play stuff. I just terribly cut through that corner. That was ugly. I blame the rain. The rain makes it too slippery. That's my problem. Look at me. I'm sliding all over the place. All right, let's try to get this guy on the inside. Nope, can't. Oh, come on. Slow down. Slow down. I can't slow down enough. We just got to go on the inside. I don't want to hit you, but sorry. 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 Okay, I want to pass you, though, so I'm just going to kind of slide a little bit. <laughs> that was good. That was real good. Like, I was just inches from him, and I'm sliding through the corner like a complete idiot, but it somehow worked. That was nice. And we're only about two seconds faster than the last lap. I blame the rain again. Ooh, perfect turn. Yeah, I'm the best. As I'm sliding through the next corner all over the place. This guy has a little bit of a lead on me, but I expect I'll be able to overtake him once there's a good straightaway. Although this is actually a good straightaway. Hmm. I need a gooder straightaway. A better one. Oh, actually, here we go. There we go. I'm catching up to him real fast on this corner. Right on him. Trying not to hit him, even. You don't want to go on the inside of that corner, it seems like, because there is a puddle right there, and it grabs you a bit. Here we go. Try to, uh, no, I'm too far away. We can't overtake him yet. Might be able to get through this faster than him, and come on. Bye-bye, BMW. That was a good pass. I don't know about you. I think that was an excellent pass. Nice and clean. Waiting for the right moment to do the pass. Couldn't have done it better. That turn, though, it was okay. Hey, wait a minute. The rain stopped now. <laughs> when did that happen? Like, I haven't really looked, like, at the rain coming down, but I still notice it while driving, so that's probably why I didn't notice the rain stop. Again, how long ago did this happen? Like, the rain starting, I think I saw it pretty soon after it started, but the stopping, I think I was kind of oblivious to that for a bit. All right, nice and slow through this corner, and then power! 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 Yes. Don't slide. Don't slide. This is the last corner. I gotta take take it safe. If you crash the last corner, that's just embarrassing. If you crash on the straightaway and still cross the finish line in first, that strategic 
driving. Woo, getting slippery again. Oh, I like the way the lights look here. They look cool. Let's admire them by going in the first gear and sliding all over the place. Uh-oh. We're a little bit from the finish line still. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Motul Nissan winner. Yes. In your face, AI. You guys are so slow because I put you on average difficulty. Well, I didn't even change the difficulty. Oh, that guy behind me had a clean lap. And it was faster than my lap. Oh, now I feel bad for spinning out. I feel like I could have beat his lap for sure if I didn't do that. It might have been clean. I wasn't paying attention again. Probably not because I was drafting him a little bit before I passed him. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and buy the Ultimate Edition so I can get some more videos for this game probably on September 30th. Till then, this is YBR. I'll see ya.